Hey guys, so today is going to be a first impressions on the new L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. Um, this foundation has pretty much been everywhere. I've heard, to be honest, negative and positive reviews, but I wanted to give it a try. So if you guys want to see my first impression of this foundation, then just keep on watching the video. There is a total of 12 shades, I believe. And let's just say L'Oreal in their shade range. I can't get with it. Eight lighter shades and then maybe four for us chocolate girls. And I'm like, uh, can you help us out? Like, I feel like when you release a foundation, it should be a ton of shades. Is that just me? I don't know. I am in the shade 311, I think. When I got it, I mean, like, do you guys see how dark this is? I was like, this is not going to match me. And it looks orange, basically. I don't know how the shade is going to work. We are going to try it out and see. And, you know, I don't mind walking around a little orange just to test out the foundation. Claims to be a natural finish. So not matte and not dewy, but natural. Um, you, you can wear it up to 24 hours. So they say um, it's high coverage. So it's not, it's not, it's claiming to be full coverage, basically. So high coverage means full coverage and it's saying it's air light so it says pro face and body foundation ultra lightweight and seamless coverage i'm going to use a damp beauty blender and then also my brush so i'm just going to pump this out a little bit on this mat and it's like a squeezy tube so that's different oh you guys hear that it's weird and the texture of the foundation is moussey thick foundation as you guys can tell oh no Okay, the color is off for sure. Well, is it off? It has it doesn't really have a smell to it. It's more of like an orangey tone. So Okay, so right now I feel like it's more of the light side, but that could be because I'm using a beauty blender. So I'm just going to take a little bit more and put it in these areas to see. Huh, so on camera I feel like it's not, on camera it doesn't, the shade doesn't look bad, but in person it's a little darker. And I do have dry skin, um, so if you guys are wondering... Okay, so looking at it now, as you guys can see, this side is done, this side is not. So it did cover up a lot, I would say, but I definitely think the color is not... The color is weird. It's not too dark, but it's just like the wrong tone. So it's more of like orange, but I mean, it doesn't look bad. So I'm going to go ahead and use a brush because this is what I like to use mainly, and we're going to do this side of my face. Okay, so with a brush right off the bat, you get more coverage, obviously. And you guys can really see the color now. It's definitely a little dark, but we're going to work with it because that's what we do. And it's, it's, it's more matte with the brush than the Beauty Blender. And it's like, okay, scratch that. I like the Beauty Blender better with this foundation. I'm leaving streak marks with the brush. So I'm just going to go with the Beauty Blender and go over this because with the brush, it does not look that good. You should re blend. This is definitely a matte foundation. Hands down, it's definitely matte. Um, yeah, it's matte. <laughs> so I don't, I know they said natural finish, but um, it's, it's matte like yeah for sure i think the la girl pro foundation has more coverage than this like i don't think the coverage is as high as they think they say it is the shade is definitely off i look orange but i mean it doesn't look bad like the foundation is laying on the skin um it's dry okay so i'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and see how my concealer and everything blends out and i'll be right back to do a start time for you guys and see how I really like this foundation. Hey guys, so I am back with my makeup completely on. Now I will say everything blended out very well. My concealer was popping, the bronzer, everything was just nice and blended. Um, now that the foundation has set, I really, really like the finish of it. It's definitely matte, so it's something I'm not used to. 
but it is really really pretty and very smooth and very like lightweight on the face like now 1103 so I'm gonna go throughout the day with this makeup on as usual and see how it wears and tears and I will be back to show you guys the final results. It is now 8.13. I'm on this foundation for about 8 hours now. Um, as you can tell, my face looks basically the same as it did when I first put it on. Um, but up close, I look extremely, extremely dry. So like under my eyes is pretty dry. And like around my nose where I have a lot of dry patches is pretty dry. Um... It's not bad, but it's just I like more of a dewy finish, and this is more matte. The foundation does say natural finish, but honestly, this is matte finish. Natural finish is like L'Oreal True Match or like the ABH Stick Foundation. Those are more natural finish foundations, but this right here is straight up matte. So I feel like if you have oily skin, you are going to love this. Um, as for the application, I do like the Beauty Blender better because I feel like the foundation is extremely thick and moussey. So a brush will just give you streak marks on your face and it's not going to blend it out really. The 24 hour claim that it has, who's going to wear their foundation for 24 hours? Like I know I'm not. 8 hours, that's pretty much my max. So I can't really test that claim out. Um, high coverage. Now, as you guys saw, I did apply about 2 layers of foundation. I was kind of packing it on. So I don't think that it's full coverage, but it's probably medium coverage and it is buildable. So you can layer this foundation on. Um, the shade range is really a problem. I think I'm literally think it's about 12 shades. They have about four for chocolate girls. And I feel like the darker the foundation gets, the more orange it gets. So this is in the shade 311. This is what I used. And the foundation shade matches me, but it's just orange so like right now it looks pretty good but when i go outside it looks like i have a orange tanner on my face if you have oily skin i feel like you would like this because it's not a bad foundation i just feel like for dry skin it's just not the business if i do decide to wear the foundation again i will definitely make sure i moisturize really well and maybe add some facial oils into the foundation just to make it a little bit more luminous if you do have dry skin like me i would recommend the l'oreal pro glow that foundation is bomb let me know if there's anything else that you guys would like for me to try um I love doing first impressions. Also, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.